Astigmatism gives you four main choices. Cross-sill, fan, parabola and special, each again with submenus. When selecting the cross-sill, we have a choice of Jackson cross-sill targets, dots or rings, and these again have submenus offering a single set or a multiple set. You'll notice that by rolling your mouse wheel backward or forward again, you're able to change the size of these targets depending on your patient's needs. When selecting fan, again, you have choices, clock, 5 degree or 10 degree. These are available for your preference. The 10 degree fan seems to be the popular choice here because it offers a direct approximate axis. The V pointers are available for axis determination and refinement. The narrower one being for finer adjustment. While on this V pointer screen, by holding your left mouse button down and sliding your mouse left or right, you're able to make major axis adjustments. And then by rolling the mouse wheel, this offers you one degree steps. When selecting the blocks, they are introduced at the same axis that was found with the V pointer. You're able to rotate these as well as with the V pointer. The standard parabola button offers a modified version of Raubacek's parabola, which can be used to do a letterless eye test. It can be rotated as with the V-pointer. The parabola with lines is used to determine the sill power once the axis has been determined with the standard parabola. The special ring and crosshair target is used to refine to the nearest 0.012 if you need to. Once the axis and power have been determined by any of the other methods, it can be also rotated as with the V-pointer. A detailed fan and block training video is also available on the website.